In this video series, you're going to learn how to use Amazon's Simple Storage Services, or as it's more commonly known, Amazon S3. Now, the reason you might want to use Amazon S3, and the reason most people use it, is because you can store large amounts of data, and you can also access large amounts of data for a very inexpensive price. The reason this is advantageous is because of the large size of files these days. With the advent of internet video and audio, the files can get quite large. So many people want to offload them from their hosting account for performance reasons. By using Amazon S3, you can have your main website running off of your everyday server and have your files on the Amazon S3 server. And what this does is it allows your website not to get bogged down with file downloads. If you have a high amount of traffic coming to your website and a lot of people going to download products after they purchase them, this is a good solution because you don't have to worry about your website bogging down if you're doing a big launch or something like that. Now, Amazon S3 is meant really for storing and accessing your files. It does not have a lot of bells and whistles like a normal hosting account. And that is why people use it just for file storage because that's really all it's meant for. Amazon themselves use the S3 service to store their own files for their own sites. So if they have confidence in their servers to store all of their data, then you certainly should have the same. Now, Amazon S3 service is also very inexpensive. Really, it's just pennies a gigabyte for data storage and very low fees for bandwidth, so it's a reasonable solution. Okay, now, of course, your first step is going to be to set up an Amazon S3 account. And you can do that from Amazon.com slash S3. Now, if you already have an existing Amazon account, you can use that. And when you sign in using that account, you'll be told that you have to set up an Amazon Web Services account. And just go ahead and continue at that point. If you don't have an Amazon account, you can just click up here to create an AWS account. That stands for Amazon Web Services. Next page you get is just an overview of the prices of data transfer and data storage at the time that you're signing up. And at the bottom it'll show your payment processors that you already have on file and you can add any others down here if you want. And click continue. Then you just review your selections. You can also add their premium support if you want that. Then just click complete sign up. At this point, you'll get a welcome email. And in that email, they're going to tell you that you need an access web key in order to send valid requests to the Amazon S3 service. Now, once you click on the link in your email, you'll come to this screen. And this explains a little bit about the two types of request identifiers that Amazon Web Services uses. Now you're going to need these access identifiers, your secret access key and your access key ID to be able to access your files. Now there is a lot to Amazon S3, but we can bypass all of it just by using the Firefox browser and a plugin. And I'm going to show you how to use the Firefox plugin and the browser together so that you can access your files and they can be viewed on the internet. Now the first thing you're going to need is Firefox. If you don't have the Firefox browser installed, you need to install it now. Just go to mozilla.com slash Firefox and then you can download and install the browser. It's very self-explanatory. Once you got the browser installed, you're going to have to get the Amazon S3 Firefox Organizer. There's a link to that in the resources file. So all you do is come to here and once you have Firefox installed just click Add to Firefox and then accept and install. Click install now. And then a window like this will pop up, and then you have to restart Firefox. Just click the Restart Firefox button over here, and then it should reopen for you when it's done. After it restarts, when you go into Tools, 
you should now see here S3 organizer. Okay, so at this point what we need to do is go back to our Amazon services and our access identifiers. In here you have your access key ID. So copy that and open notepad or somewhere where you can access it easily. Paste it in here and then go back to your browser here then click on show underneath your secret access key. Grab that and then paste that into your notepad session as well underneath the other one. Now go to your Amazon S3 organizer. Go to manage accounts. Give it a name here. Doesn't matter what you call it. Paste your secret key down here and paste your access key in here. Click Add. Okay, so now you have S3 account 1. Close that. And here we are, S3 account 1. Okay, and then you have your own computer on this side and you have your Amazon account on this side. Now Amazon folders are called buckets, so what you have to do here is create a directory and your directory is your bucket. And inside here you will see some different things about the buckets. Okay, so what I'm going to call this is store videos. Now you can, of course you can call them anything you want. And then I'm going to create another one called public videos okay so then what I could do is find stuff on my computer on this side and upload it where I want over here now in my store videos this would be stuff that I'd want for my own use now over here we have something called ACL edit ACL. So if we click on that, 